Welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, I'm sharing one of my favorite recipes with you as of lately, and it is a rice, walnut, and mushroom burger, or cake, however you wanna look at this. This is one of those recipes that is great to serve it as a side with some roasted chicken or some steak, or to eat it vegetarian style, as is on its own. I developed this recipe because I've been working on some gut health issues and trying to change my diet up a little bit to experiment with what works to help myself heal and came up with this. To be perfectly honest, also it was inspired from when I was a kid. My mom used to make these things called uh, porky pie meatballs. Has anybody else ever heard of these? I've never heard anyone mention them before, but basically it was a meatball with rice in it, but she would steam it in the pressure cooker. This was back in the day when you had the old timey pressure cookers and not just the Instapot and you'd hear the steam going but at the end, it would be these meatballs with pieces of rice sticking out of it, porky pie meatballs, and I loved that. So since I've been upping my rice intake lately, because rice actually is very healthy for you and your gut, I came up with this recipe and wanna share it with you today. Now here's what you're gonna need. First off, rice, obviously. You can use any type of rice that you want. In fact, I'm using two different types here. I had made some basmati rice earlier this week for some recipes that I was making, so I about have about a cup of that and then a half a cup of just a wild rice blend that again, I had in my pantry, but if you just have one of those like 60 second rice packets, you can totally do that. This is a cup and a half of rice. Then we've got a cup of walnuts. So I've gone ahead and just pulse these in the blender for a second, pulse, pulse, pulse. And so I don't want it like flour. I still want it kind of chunky. Um, so yeah, that's what you got. You can also just cut them if you want them to be like super walnutty. This just adds a really great earthy flavor to the burgers. And then I have a cup and a quarter of mushrooms. You can use any type of mushrooms that you want. These are oyster mushrooms that once again, I stuck them in the blender, pulse, 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 and they came out. But any type would do that you have on hand. Portobellas would be fantastic. Even just white mushrooms would work really well with this as well. One egg. And then if you want to keep it vegetarian, you can just keep it there with most of the main ingredients. I just happen to have some Italian sausage, some all natural Italian sausage in my freezer. So I grabbed that out, Grab two ounces, not a lot, just enough so that when you go to bite into this burger, you go, huh, what is that spice that I'm tasting? That extra pizzazz. So if you have it and you're for it, go with the sausage. I've got some Dijon mustard, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of olive oil, but that's just gonna be used for getting our pans ready. I normally make these in the air fryer. So just this little trick of the trade, I like to uh, layer aluminum foil onto my tray for the air fryer, and then I'll put just a little bit of olive oil on this so that they don't stick. But that way you don't have to worry about things falling through and it making a huge mess. Easy cleanup is what I'm all about. I'm also gonna show how to make them in the oven as well. I've gone ahead and lined a baking sheet with some parchment paper, again, easy cleanup, and I've set my oven at 375. So now, all we gotta do is toss this together. In goes the rice. Make sure to get all those little pieces. In goes the walnuts. In goes the mushrooms. Oh, I maybe should have gotten a little bit bigger of a bowl. In goes the sausage. In goes the egg. And if you want to keep this vegan, you can use a chia egg or a flax egg instead. And then we're going to be do about one tablespoon of Dijon. Unless you really like mustard, so maybe a tablespoon and a half. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of Italian seasonings, which will end up being everything that I have left. Wow, Italian seasoning is one of those staples that you should always have in your pantry. Now you can use your hands, get in there, use a spoon if you want just at first, but yeah, I might have to switch this out. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. I was trying to make it all fancy with the white bowls. That's what happens. That uh, should be fine. You know, if you don't make a little bit of a mess on your cabinet, did you eat or on your countertop, did you even really cook? All right. Now we're ready to make our balls. Well, our patties. I'm gonna take about a good baseball size, maybe slightly smaller, put it into a ball. Go ahead and put that ball 
onto the tray. Smash. Perfect patty right there. All right, repeat. So the air fryer burgers are done. I'm gonna stick this in 430 for 15 minutes. Now let's get the tray for the oven test. Okay, so our patties are now done. They are ready to go in the air fryer and the oven. I'm gonna stick these in at 375. Those take a little bit longer than the air fryer, which will only take about 15 to 20 minutes. These will probably take between 25 to 30 minutes once they come out. But once they are ready, I will show you and I'll show you the best way to eat them and enjoy them. Cool? All right. By the power of video editing, I'll see you back in two short seconds. Food is done. Quick tip. I would pick that up, but it only took 20 minutes in the actual oven. So that was at 375 for 20 minutes and it is nice and crispy. I did also broil it for about two minutes just to finish it off. I just love that nice broiled topping to make it a little bit extra crispy, but the ones in the air fryer took exactly 15 minutes as they always do. And these guys are beautiful. They are nice and crispy on the outside, but nice and soft on the inside. So now that you have your patties, what do you want to do with them? Well, to me, walnuts and mushrooms together are a very fall seasonal ingredient together combination. So I'm gonna continue that on and I'm gonna throw together a quick little salad. Like I said, you could totally serve this as a side with some roasted chicken or steak, whatever it is that you wanna do. I grabbed some arugula, I basically searched up my fridge and said, what do I have? I had some arugula, some acorn squash, and some roasted radishes that I had left over from last night. Did not spend a lot of time doing this, um, but if you have never had roasted radishes, please give it a try. They are so freaking good. I just quarter them, put a little bit of coconut oil or olive oil, a little bit of sea salt and pepper, stick them in the air fryer for about 15 minutes at that 430. That's just my favorite setting that's already on there. And it does the trick. I also put in some pepita seeds just for some extra crunch. And then, so we're gonna go ahead, take one of the patties, and told you because we oiled up the tray, they just came right off and stick it right over here on the side. And you could definitely also eat this as a type of burger. If you have a bun or you wanna make a wrap out of it, go for it. P the possibilities are endless with this recipe. Okay, and then for my dressing, what I did was I took a tablespoon of Dijon, a tablespoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of honey, and a teaspoon of water, and mix that together. And then all we got to do is pour it over on top. Put that there so it doesn't get all over my counter. And then because I did not season this while I was cooking, I prefer to season afterwards. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle it with just a little bit of some Himalayan salt. And by a little bit, I just mean a true pinch. And bam, the only other thing that would make this even better was if I had some actual fresh herbs, like some parsley to toss in here with the salad, but that's it. And you cannot tell me that that does not look beautiful, right? Would you eat that? All right, comment down below if you're gonna give this recipe a try. And on our next cooking show, what should we make together? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I do cooking videos every other week and in between I do workout videos. So be on the lookout for next week. I will be in the gym sharing some awesome training tips. Don't miss out. Subscribe, like the video, and comment below what's your favorite fall dish. I'd love to hear about it. And then maybe we'll even make it here on one of the episodes. Thank you guys so freaking much. I will talk to you soon. Bye.